For checking the reliability of the visual field test, we have several locations in the printout to check. At the top, there's a box that shows the fixation monitor, fixation losses, false positive, and false negative errors. Right below the gray scale, we have um, a message which is some sort of interpretation of uh, the reliability indices that we have at the top box and at the bottom part of the visual field test we have the gaze graph for checking the fixation we have four options blind spot generally when we shine the light on the optic nerve head the patient should not be able to see and if the patient uh, see the light it means the patient has moved the eye and the light has been shined on the retina instead of optic nerve head and it will be reported as fixation loss the gaze tracking system checks uh, the location of the corneal light reflex based on the pupil area. And if the pa in the patient that has a steady fixation all the time, the corneal light reflex is going to be at the center of the pupil. But if the patient moves the eye, the location will change and we will get some sort of deflection in the gaze graph if the patient moves we will get upward deflection and if the patient blinks we will get downward deflection we can combine these two and have a gaze blind spot and we can turn it off and the parametrics will check the patient fixation through video eye monitor these are the examples of the gaze graph stable fixation the second one the patient had too many fixation losses and had a period of uh, losing the tracking fixation because the patient fell asleep and the last one shows the patient who had a lot of fixation losses and also too many blinking this is a patient with uh, fixation monitor turned off as you can see we don't have any fixation losses because it has been turned off the same patient had um, fixation monitor turned on with the blind spot and got fixation losses of 6 out of 10 in this one in the overview printout at the top row we have uh, a visual field with fixation losses of 2 out of 29 and in the follow-up the fixation losses were 25 out of 29 and because of having these high fixation losses uh, the visual field uh, defect has been masked in the full threshold strategy for checking the false positive and uh, this stimulus is randomly paused and if the patient respond it's recorded as false positive and in the CDA standard um, if the patient answers sooner than the usual pace it's also recorded as false positive the finding are positive mean deviation abnormal high sensitivity in the glaucoma hemifield loss increased pattern and standard deviation and also increased fixation losses this is the patient with high fixation losses we get white scotoma or popcorn a pattern defect in the gray scale excessively high false positive and the GHT shows abnormal high sensitivity the mean deviation and pattern standard deviation becomes abnormal and total deviation looks uh, better than pattern deviation plot for checking the fixation the false negative and a stimulus 9 dB brighter than the stimulus that the patient saw at that specific location is presented to the patient. And if the patient does not see the brighter light, it will be reported as false negative. And the finding are negative mean deviation, abnormal PSD, and the total deviation usually is darker than the pattern deviation plot, and we get the low patient reliability message. This is a typical um, pattern that we see in patient with uh, high false negatives as you can see the patient respond to the four initial points and then stop responding and this is called clover leaf pattern defect this is typical for false negative um, we have a darker total deviation compared to the pattern deviation we get low reliability message the GHD is outside normal limit the mean deviation has negative value and abnormal PSD 
this is uh, on the left side we have uh, false negatives in a visual field and on the right side um, this is also a false negative but the difference in the second one is lack of response to the initial stimuli and then responding as the test was going on this is called a uh, four dot artifact when the patient does not respond to the initial stimuli and then start responding is this test reliable based on the reliability indices that we have at the top box it looks reliable but if you look at the gaze graph it shows a lot of um, fixation losses that makes this visual field unreliable <laughs>